guys, happy Friday. I hope you guys are having a really great week. I am going to Disney today with my best friends to celebrate um, Caitlin's birthday. So instead of a normal kind of makeup video, since I don't have any makeup on today, I'm actually gonna be showing you guys what I take to Disney. So I get a lot of questions when I'm in the parks of where I get um, the things that I'm wearing, where I get the shirts that I have, buttons, all different kinds of things. So I'm gonna link all of that down below as well as tell you guys where I get them, show them up. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. And the first thing that is an absolute necessity when you go to Disney is a magic band. So I typically pick a green magic band, but they have other colors. This is what they look like. It's literally like a rubbery bracelet. It's got an RFID reader in it so you can get into the park it's your fast pass you can use it to pay for things um they're pretty easy to wear they're pretty comfortable um but if you don't like wearing them like i do i put mine on my backpack so uh, so this is the first necessity that you need and you can get it by staying at a disney hotel and you automatically get one or you can purchase one when you get into the park and i have tons and tons of these so i have no reason to purchase one ever 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 because i'm an annual pass holder we typically stay at a disney resort because we get a lot of discounts and my grandpa works at animal kingdom so if you see um, an older gentleman named gene working back in dino land or training new cast members say hello that is my grandpa so the first like clothing thing outfit wise i'm going to show you is what i typically wear when we go to Hollywood Studios, which is formerly MGM, which is what I still call it because I grew up at Disney, so it's still MGM to me. And um, I usually wear a lot of Star Wars things when I go. I really got into Star Wars over Christmas break, thanks to my dad who introduced me to the Star Wars series. And um, I got these awesome buttons from this lady called Casey. She makes these great buttons on her website, Parkbound Buttons. This one is Kylo Ren from the new movie Force Awakens, and it says he's so bad, but he does it so well. Um, it's from Taylor Swift's Wildest Dreams song, and it's just kind of funny. So I wear that. I wear these, all my buttons I wear on my backpack. I never wear them on my shirt, and I just wear them on the strap of my and then I also got this one from Casey and it says I'm joining the resistance and it's got Ray and BB-8 on it, which is from the new movie, The Force Awakens as well. So Casey has a lot of really great buttons and all the buttons I'm going to be showing you are from her. So I don't feel the need to repeat myself, but I'll link her information down below from websites, Instagram, Twitter, all of that good stuff. So you guys can go and check out her awesome collection of buttons. And then for shirts, I wear a couple of different things to Hollywood Studios. Um, I've worn plain Star Wars shirts from Kohl's, but the one I'm gonna be wearing today when my friends and I leave this afternoon, and it says Ray in the Barbie print, and it's got Ray on it fashioned like an old Barbie. Ooh, there's something on there, there we go. And it's super cute, and it's a V-neck, and it's white. This is a men's medium. Um, their shirts are either in unisex or in um, women's sizes. This is from Beep Boop Beep Clothing. They have a bunch of different designs. They're incredible people. And um, so this is what I'm going to be wearing for that. I'll link their Instagram and website down below as well. Then for ears to MGM, I typically go for something Star Wars. Like I said, I like my whole outfit to match. So Star Wars buttons, Star Wars shirt, Star Wars ears. And all the ears I'm going to show you are from my personal Etsy shop because I make ears on Etsy, which is really fun. So these are BB-8. They are going to be launching on March 1st, which is my next opening because I'm at Disney this weekend. I'm not open. So they have BB-8 on them, and I love BB-8. So cute, and it's got a sparkly black bow. And I just pop them on, and you look so cute. So all of that together is what I'm going to be wearing on Friday. So Saturday is typically our pock, 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 hoppa. I sound like I'm from Boston, Park Hopper Day. So we go from park to park and kind of do a bunch of different things. And so in the morning, my friends and I are starting out at Animal Kingdom and then we are going to Epcot in the afternoon. And then we are taking a nap at the hotel because we are old women and we can't go the whole day without taking a nap. And then we are going to Magic Kingdom in the evening for fireworks and the Kiss Goodnight. If you don't know what the Kiss Goodnight is, it is a casual, casual. I'm having trouble speaking today. Castle projection show 
and it's um, just thanking you for coming to the park today. It's a really great way to end your night at Disney, especially at Magic Kingdom. So if you've never done it before, definitely stay up and do it. It's 20 minutes after the park closes and it's awesome. So on our park hopper day, which is still extremely difficult to say, obviously, I tend to go for just a plain colored shirt. This is black because black is my favorite color to wear. This is from Nordstrom. It is the Lush brand up in um, their BP area. And it's just a simple kind of V-neck shirt. It's really loose and really um, comfortable to wear around the parks. That way, um, because like I said, said earlier, I like to kind of match my outfit to what park I'm at. And since we're doing Animal Kingdom, Epcot, and Magic Kingdom all in one day, um, I don't want to wear something Star Wars to Animal Kingdom, or I don't want to wear something Little Mermaid to Epcot. So I just kind of went for a plain colored shirt, and I'm bringing two different sets of ears for the day. One for Animal Kingdom, and then one that's going to work for Epcot and Magic Kingdom, and I'm going to wear the same buttons all day long, and they're just kind of random. So the ears I'm bringing are these ones. They're leopard print with black. These are currently not available in my shop. I'm hoping to get them up soon. Maybe not in this launch, but in my next one. Um, they're fuzzy, which is really fun. Um, I've gotten a lot of response from these from different cast members. And taking these up to Tarzan is really fun because he thinks you're super awesome by killing a cheetah to make Mickey ears. So I love wearing these around Animal Kingdom because it's always a wild time in Animal Kingdom. And then around Epcot and Magic Kingdom, I'm gonna be wearing these Marie ears. Look at her side eye though, like she just has so much sass, it's not even funny. And then, it's, I just love these ears, they're so cute. And you can meet Marie in France and you can meet her out by the flagpole at Magic Kingdom. So I think these are gonna be super cute to wear around with my black shirt and they're gonna match, everything is gonna match. I love matching at Disney because you get some really cute pictures. And then the buttons I'm wearing are also from Parkbound Buttons. And the first one is Prince Hans of the Southern Isles. And it says, darling, I'm a nightmare dressed like a daydream. Also a Taylor Swift reference here. And I think this is super cute. I also get a lot of compliments on this button as well because people love Disney and Taylor Swift combinations. And then the second button I'm wearing is going to be this one that says Faith, Trust, and Pixie Dust from Peter Pan because as a child, Peter Pan was my favorite Disney movie and now it is Tangled. So I still have a lot of love for Peter Pan, so I'll be wearing this one at the parks on Saturday. And then Sunday is our Magic Kingdom day. We are going to breakfast first at Whispering Canyon. I think that's what it's called. I, um... Wilderness Lodge, and it's going to be so, so good. They have the best banana bread French toast you could ever think of. And it's just a really fun restaurant to go to eat at. So if you've never been there and you're going on a Disney vacation, I highly recommend it. And I am going with a Little Mermaid theme. So this is the shirt I'm wearing. And it's just got a Little Mermaid silhouette. It's black, again, because black is my favorite color. And it's just from Target from their Disney collection. So that's really fun. And Target always has a bunch of really cute Disney shirts, so you don't have to spend a ton of money to get really cute Disney things. And then the two parkbound buttons I'm going to be wearing is this one that says Life is the Bubbles, and this one from Casey's Valentine's Day box that says You're the one I've been looking for, which is a reference to the actual movie from The Little Mermaid. And the ears I'm going to be wearing are from my collection as well on Etsy. And they're mermaid scales with a purple bow and a starfish. And I'm going to have to fix this bow today because I found a new way to make my bows, which is super fun. So I'm going to fix this today before we go to the park tomorrow. And so I'm going to be wearing all of this on Sunday. So besides actually stuff that I wear, um, things that I take along with me are business cards because I do have an Etsy shop. People are asking me where I get my ears at. So these are my business cards with my logo on them. It says Mingling with Mickey on the front, that's my Etsy shop. And then on the back it says Get Social, Mingling with Mickey, and it's got my Instagram and my Etsy, and then a coupon code. I always take my phone and a phone charger in my backpack. I take a large makeup bag with me so I can put everything I need into it, brushes, makeup, um, skincare, 
makeup remover wipes because at Disney, I don't want to have to faff with skincare. I just want to take my makeup off and go to bed when I'm done. We're at the parks that day. So there's a full thing of makeup in here still from when I was at Disney last weekend. And then the backpack I take to Disney is a Vera Bradley backpack. This is an old pattern. It's an elephant one. It's got a side pocket on this side where I keep my phone. And then this side is a zip side. So I typically keep my GoPro or business cards on this side. It's got a Velcro front. So I keep what's in here my phone charger and some motion sickness pills for in the car because I get really car sick in the car. And then in the big pocket, there's a poncho because you don't know what the weather is going to be like. So I always carry a poncho to Disney. And then I have a little pen pouch that's got pens and Sharpies and band-aids, anything you might need at the park. That's all in here. And then I have snacks. So I got little fruit gummies. I didn't really clean out my backpack because I was just at Disney last weekend running for the Princess Half Marathon weekend and I ran a 10K. So I didn't see the need to unload my backpack just to repack it again. And then I have my Tangle Teaser, which goes to the parks with me for when I get off a ride and my hair looks like a mess. So my backpack is pretty full with things and whatever I might buy in the park also goes in here along with a jacket because it's kind of chilly still in Florida. And then the bag I take to go to the parks with is this large Vera Bradley bag. We're only going for the weekend, so I just throw everything in here. Clothes, pajamas, jackets, shoes, whatever I might need, and it all goes in here. It's got two front flaps, so that's where I'll put all of my buttons for each day. It's got one of those crossbody handles or these two carrying handles. It's got a zip pouch here. So I'll probably put like socks and underwear and stuff in there. And then in here, it's got a magic, it's not been unloaded yet. Um, so it's got um, all my clothes and everything else would go in there. So that is typically what I take to Disney. If you guys want more videos like this about Disney and just kind of tips and tricks of why I go or just different Disney vlogs, give this video a big thumbs up and tell me what you take to Disney down in the comments. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new. I would love it if you did and I will see you on Tuesday with a brand new video. Bye!